Welcome to Touch Technology Review. This video is for those of you who have a Microsoft Surface Pen or who might be thinking of purchasing one and are wondering what function the top and side buttons perform. If you're after a more detailed review on how the pen works, I've produced an unboxing and review video and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But for now, let's take a look at the buttons and how you can use them for better productivity and for ultimate convenience. The top button that by default functions as an eraser can be configured to perform three other tasks. In order to configure the top button, you can go to the settings, devices, pen and Windows ink, scroll down to the bottom section and you'll see the pen shortcuts option. You can configure single click, double click and click and hold so that each can perform different tasks. For example, and this is usually set by default, a single click will open Windows workspace I've set double click to launch my mail app and the press and hold function will launch and initiate Cortana voice assistant. The side button position lower towards the nib of the pen, however, doesn't have any customizable control via the Windows 10 operating system. By default, it acts as a right click button, but for many, especially illustrators and artists using the pen with image editing software, it will be of great advantage to be able to configure this button to perform different functions such as becoming an alt or shift key. So that's where the Tablet Pro Pen Tool that I'm gonna show you today comes into effect. You can purchase and download this tool for Windows 10 via the Windows Store. And if you're interested in grabbing a copy, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I've already downloaded and installed it, and I'll give you a quick overview of how it works. To access the tool, click on the app that you downloaded, or access it in your toolbar. This tool works with both the Surface Pen and Wacom Pen, so it has a number of options. For the Surface Pen, we're going to use only one, and that is the Tip button. We can change it to act as a Control, Shift, Alt, left click, right click, space button, and even get it to launch apps from the taskbar. Once you've made your selection, simply click on the tick icon in the menu and your new function will be mapped to the lower button. If you want to disable it, simply close the app or turn the on off button to the off position on the bottom left. So that's it for this demo. If you're looking to customize the top button of the Surface Pen tool, you can access the controls in the pen and ink control panel. And if you're looking to get more out of the second button, check out the Tablet Pro Pen tool, which you can download from the Windows Store. And once again, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Thanks for checking out the video. See you on the next one. Bye for now.